Hello friends and welcome to Global Defense. In today's episode we are going to discuss an incident which happened in the last week. According to Pentagon, a Chinese fighter jet conducted a maneuver that was deemed aggressive near a US military plane in international airspace over the South China Sea. The incident occurred last week and involved a Chinese J-16 aircraft which forced the US RC-135 plane to fly through its wake turbulence. The United States issued a statement emphasizing its commitment to operating in accordance with international law while ensuring the safety. A video showed the fighter jet passing in front of the US plane causing turbulence in its cockpit. In response, Chinese embassy in Washington called for the US to cease such provocative actions and avoid shifting blames onto China. China reiterated its determination to defend its sovereignty and security as well as maintain peace and stability in the South China Sea. It's worth noting that China rejected a mating request from the US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and there have been multiple instances where China declined or did not respond to similar requests for dialogues with the Pentagon or the telephone as well. The US has characterized this incident as a part of a pattern of increasingly risky behavior by the Chinese military aircraft. Such encounters occur now regularly with a previous incident in December involving a Chinese military plane coming very close to the US Air Force aircraft resulting in evasive maneuver to prevent a collision in international airspace. Overall tensions between China and the US persist with various issues contributing to the strained relationship between the two countries and the main issues right now we know is basically the Taiwan issue and uh, in the South China Sea the American military presence which have become even more stronger creating a network of allies between the Japan, the South Korea, Taiwan as well as now the Australians are included in this ally to counter the Chinese influence in the Indo-Pacific region and specifically in the South China Sea as well. We have seen that the Chinese Navy forces have come very close to American ships as well recently the South China Sea where the, both the navies almost had a confrontation. Besides that we had already seen recently that how the Russian MiG fighter jets basically destroyed an American Reaper drone in which they basically performed a dangerous maneuver and then used the plausible deniability that the Russians didn't intend to destroy that aircraft. And we have already seen the dangerous behavior of the Russian fighter jets in the Syria as well where the United Air Force and the American military basically gave warning to the Russians and they violated the no-fly zones and came danger dangerously close to the American military assets in the region. And then we had seen that the Chinese balloon which was hovering over the United States which was basically destroyed by the Americans using their F-22s also basically created a massive tension between the two countries. America blamed the Chinese for using that balloon for the spying purpose and to gather the important data from the US military installations. Friends, this was uh, basically the context, the perspective which we have tried to explain to you because of which the tensions have increased between the China and the United States. And one more point that the US is also blaming the Chinese from time to time that they are basically helping the Russians in the war in the Ukraine as well. The Americans high level officials blame China for providing the material support to the Russians and the important components which are used for the military purpose as well. So friends this was about today's podcast. I hope you like today's podcast to inform us about your valuable opinion in the comment box and do subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon. Thank you for listening.